Hello everybody, it's Ashwin Rao, and I'm here today with a exciting video on a pair of shoes I picked up on the used market from renowned shoemaker Antonio Macariello, and this is his Valerius Loafer. Let's talk a little bit more about this loafer and its makeup so you can get an idea of what I purchased and why I did so. The Valerius is his penny loafer done with a hand sewn apron. This is not a pie crust apron. As you can see here, there is quite a bit of detail in this apron, but it's not your standard pie crust apron that you might have come to expect in his Centurion models. This shoe is based out of his hand welted MTO line and is built upon the Habu last. The H-A-B-U or Habu last is one of his Aurum lasts. The shoe comes with a single leather sole and soon I'll show you the beautiful fiddleback waist along with toe plates. And as you can see the leather is a unique leather that you don't see in everyday wear and this is a peccary leather which is a wild boar leather that you may have seen before in my Centurion model split toe derby. Now there are other types of boar and peccary leathers, including Carmina and others out of Italy who use those leathers, but Antonio sources his leathers rather uniquely and they have unique properties which are hard to describe but can be best described as being somewhat more robust than calf leathers and that have the tendency to roll and form very, very, very fine creases, which you can see along the apron and vamp here. Antonio applied a black and burgundy hand applied patina to this particular model. Some of the unique MTO details you can see here include a slightly pitch or angled heel block with a notch that separates the heel block from the shoe's waist. Getting to the details of the sole, you see a beautiful fiddleback waist and a Triumph metal toe plate, which will help protect against wear long-term and a rubber rear element to provide some traction when walking. Here you see the beautiful apron again in a little bit more clear detail. It's just a beautiful apron. Really brings out some of the qualities of both this leather as well as the distinct characteristics of the peccary. I renovated this shoe using pure polish products, including the cleaner and conditioner, weather resistant polish, and high shine polishes. I did apply a light heat gun application to try to undo some of the rolls and I use Mason and Smith shoe trees, which are featured throughout this video and happen to fit this pair particularly well. Now, Antonio is one of the foremost shoemakers in the entire world. He's truly a pleasure to get to know and I've just started to get to know him. His shop is essentially a family run business. He works even with his wife who does some of his sewing for him, as well as a small handful of artisans to execute his various ready-to-wear lines, including his Argentum and his Aries lines. And he has a further entry-level hand-welted line that's soon to arrive. His MTO lines, which are featured here in this video, and then his more bespoke line, which features customizations that can be done both locally or remotely. Ultimately, this is a beautiful shoe. I think that the last fits me incredibly well. And then there's the gentle patina work. This is a shoe that can look burgundy, as you can see in most of these video clips, but can also have almost a black look, depending on the light. 
So it's quite versatile. It could be worn with brown or black outfits. It's a beautiful shoe, and I would strongly encourage you to take a look at it.